Hi, my name is Mike, and I own Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, I'm doing a series of videos on this uh, Carter AFB Series 9000 carburetor, and uh, we're just about to finish it up. I, uh, we're going to put on the uh, linkage for the uh, <coughs> accelerator pump now, and we got this little S-shaped hook, and uh, you want to put in the... Uh, open in towards the choke first of all and when you're looking at it towards the front you want to look at it you want to see an S and that's how it goes on so and they're like so okay Okay, there we go. And put the linkage on it. It was in the second hole. Now, these are adjustable accelerator pumps and uh, what you do is you change the hole that's in if uh, to change the uh, action of the accelerator pump. If you've got a little bit of a hesitation you might want a longer stroke and so you would move the uh, move it to the outer hole. Um, if you step on the gas and you get a puff of black smoke you might be getting too much fuel through the accelerator pump and you might want to shorten the stroke on it. That's how you adjust it there. Okay, let's see what's next here. We got our uh, let's see, I believe it's this linky that back down here. I'm going to check this one out. It doesn't look right. I think somebody has changed this. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. That's the way it goes on anyway. It looks like somebody's made one for it, which is okay, but i got to figure out a way to keep it on there. Okay. Um, all right, we have uh, one more linkage. Let's see what goes on the uh, choke. Now, the choke has. Uh, small gasket on it. I want to be sure we replace that. There's a new one kit. Goes right there. Okay, get my screws. Three screws for it. Okay.
Okay, I'm in the uh, choke housing here. Um, don't forget the little gasket. And the linkage uh, goes on like this. And we'll thread it underneath there. Okay. Okay. My gasket didn't fall out. Alright, so that's the housing. <clears throat> and let's see, let's hook up the linkage here. Get a clip on the end of it here. There we go. Alright. Make sure all of this is nice and loose. No any sticking. All right, let's do the uh, metering rods next. Uh, we've got our metering metering rod springs. They go down the hole here. Um, all right. <clears throat> so these springs um, are color coded. Uh, coated wore off of these so <clears throat> but if you want to change from the standard uh, you know if you're getting a little um, oh a little bump in your acceleration or something you might want it you can play with changing the springs you can do that without taking the uh, carburetor off you just take your uh, top off here being very careful not to drop the little screw down into the uh, throat by the way uh, that wouldn't be very good for your engine at all all right, so anyway, we'll get into that later. But uh, so here we go. You have to feel around until it goes down into the jet. Don't force it.
So it's these long screws that went up here? Yep, yeah, I guess so. I don't remember them being that long. We'll find out here. Just move those metering rods around a little bit with your finger. It'll 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 drop in. Last thing you want to do is bend them. Fortunately, the metering rods are available for these things, along with the springs. Put in our idle, idle mixture screws. And you simply uh, gently seat them and turn them out uh, oh, one and a half, two turns. Okay, half, one, half, two. is uh, <clears throat> the electric choke and it's fairly typical for these 9000s to come with electric choke I'm not sure I think you can buy it with a manual choke And you simply turn it over to close to there's a little index mark here on both the housing and I just feel it doesn't take too much pressure to open it. So that's to me that's pretty good. Okay, so let's see. This grounds to the to the carburetor. Let's take this one loose and ground it right there.
Let's see. About the last thing we got to do here is uh, put a new gasket on our inlet. Putting a little bit of liquid Teflon on it. I don't like to use that tape. I found that tape inside the carburetor too many times, so I use the liquid and I'm very careful not to get it places it shouldn't be. You know, these fittings are always wanting to leak. All right, uh, let's see here. So uh, that pretty much covers it. There's going to be some adjustments. Um, there's quite a few adjustments you can tinker with on this. It's uh, it's all in your uh, instructions uh, that come in the kit. Um, and uh, I'll probably do those. Uh, I'd like to do those separate. Um, it's almost a whole video just to do those. So, And the only other thing I want to point out here is that the... Uh, kit comes with uh, actually I was thinking there was three flange gaskets uh, but I just see two here I guess there was just two two different flange gaskets so it covers uh, uh, whichever one you need depends on your manifold um, either one will fit here and that's my dog Deke <clears throat> okay um, all right, I'm going to turn the video off, and that's pretty much it. I'll uh, see if I can't add some videos to this on the adjustments here, uh, some of the uh, on-bench uh, adjustments. Uh, I'm going to fix this linkage first, so uh, uh, I'll probably do that, see what I can do with it off-camera. All right, well, thank you for watching.